You know, one question I get more than probably any other question via email from my viewers is how to properly clean and lubricate a revolver. A lot of my viewers know that I'm one of the few gun channels out there that's actually, uh, I guess, smart enough or woke enough to carry a revolver over those clearly inferior semi-automatics. So they wonder, how do I maintain them? Because they worry about that. A lot of people aren't familiar with revolvers and revolver maintenance, so it kind of scares them, especially the side plates and the inner workings. But I'm going to show you here today how to properly care for a revolver. And you really don't ever have to take the side plate off if you don't want to, but in case you're someone that wants to, we'll cover that also. Now, the first thing you do, and I'm not going to show you that part because it's simple. It's like every gun. And I just did it to this gun. I just brought this gun back from the range. I took it, went shooting with it just a little bit ago. I will often stop at the range with nothing more than my carry gun on me, buy a box of cheap ammo there, and just fire my carry gun for like 15 or 20 minutes. Every range trip doesn't have to be an all-day event. Uh, especially if you belong to a range like I do where I pay a monthly fee and I don't pay per visit. So I can just stop in anytime I want, fire as few or as many rounds through my gun as I want. So I'll often stop in, just buy one box of ammo, put it through the gun, and then just go about my day. So I just did that with this gun and I already cleaned it out. I just used a bore brush here. You clean out the barrel, of course, and then clean out all of the bores in the cylinder. Every one of them, make sure you clean every one of them. This one has eight, so gotta clean eight of these and one barrel here. And then when you're done, just like with any other gun, just run either one of these through there with some claws or use one of these little uh, bore scrubbers here or bore, I forget what you call these things. I don't know. It's just a big cotton swab that you run through your bore just to clean it and dry it out. And then you're done with the cleaning part. Oh, and as far as what I use to clean my gun, which a lot of people are always asking because they want to know which one of the new wonder things is the best for cleaning your gun, I just use Hoppy's number nine. It's usually the cheapest. And the differences between all these things is so minimal when it comes to cleaning your gun. Just use Hoppy's. Unless you need something special to get a lot of lead out or something like that because you haven't cleaned a gun in a long time and you're shooting a lot of lead, just use Hoppy's number nine. It's cheaper and it works just as good as any of the new miracle cleaners. Okay, now we've got the bore cleaned out, the cylinder cleaned out. What do I do next? Because lubrication is the main thing people worry about. Now, before I lubricate the gun, there's one other step that I always do. I take my little Remington cleaner here and give the gun a little spritz with the Remington cleaner. So I just give the gun a little spritz with this cleaner, just all over it, the barrel, the outside, everything outside the gun. Now, I've got G10 grips on here, so I don't really have to take them off. If you had wood grips, make sure you take them off before you even clean or lubricate the gun. Once you give it a little spray, let it sit a little while, and let's just give it a good wipe down. Use a lint-free cloth or something like an old t-shirt. I use old t-shirts all the time. Okay, now once I've just given it a wipe down, and it'll look a little splotchy and everything once you use that. Once I've given it a wipe down, I will just open my cylinder up, and then I will use something to push in the little button right here so that I can cock back my hammer, cock the hammer back with the cylinder open, and now I'll start lubricating. Once again, I'm just using rim oil. Uh, people, like I say, once again, people say, what's the best lubricant to use? Rim oil is fine. There's no real big differences in these lubricants. People think there's a, a miracle lube that they can use once and never have to use again, or have to only do it once a year or something. Just use whatever's cheapest and do it on a schedule and do it regularly. And you don't need to spend a lot of money on lubricants. There's no big difference in them. In fact, most of them turn out to be just mostly vegetable oil anyway. So just use whatever's on sale or something that has a good reputation that's been around a long time and it's easy to use like rim oil. Now, once I have the cylinder open and the hammer back, I'll just give a little spritz inside. Then I'll spray a little bit on where the hand comes out right here. I'll spray some on the yoke right here, on the ejector, and just basically over the entire gun. Then I'll just give the entire gun a spritz of oil. And this will take off all that splotchiness that you had from the cleaner. Okay, now once I have the oil sprayed in there, and there, and all over the gun, I'm going to take the gun off to the side and give it a few real good hard shakes. Now once I've given it a few hard shakes, I'm just going to close it back up, and then I'm going to cycle this action probably 20, 30 times, more so probably even. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to wipe it down again with my t-shirt. 
And once you've done all that, you're done. That's really all you have to do. You can put this back in your holster now. Now I will say one thing. If you put this back in the safe overnight or you put it in your holster overnight, the next morning, take it back out, wipe it down again because some of the oil will seep back out of some of the cracks where there's excess oil. This oil won't gunk up on you like a lot of other oils will or lubes will, so you don't have to worry about that. Just the next morning, give it another little shake and wipe it down again and you're set to go. And if you do that, I don't think you'll ever have to take the side plate off your revolver ever. But if you do want to take the side plate off, let's go ahead and go over that real quick. All right, now let's get to the really scary part, the taking off that side plate and getting into those revolver guts that everyone's afraid of, those complicated revolver guts. Well, to be honest, they're not complicated. They're very simple. They're just a series of levers, basically. They're very a very uh, locked-in-place controlled system, and they're very easy to deal with. But first thing you're going to have to do before you even clean this gun, since it's got wood grips, is take the wood grips off. So let's get those off there. Oh, and if you've got these kind of grips, make sure you don't lose these little pins right here that go in the front part of the wood right there. Uh, I have so many people send me messages saying, my grips don't fit properly, they wiggle. And it's because they've taken the grips off and they didn't pay attention to those. and They've lost those and didn't put them back in when they reinstalled the grips. Those are very important in keeping the grips stable. Okay, once you have the grips taken off, there's just three screws, and pay attention to the three screws. Two of them will usually have a rounded head on them, and one will have a flat. One of them has a flat because it goes under the grips, so make sure you remember which screw went where. Now to get the plate off, I always come up from behind it, right back here inside the grip, just pry it up, and it will come right out. And there's a little notch up here that needs to feed back under when you put it back together. Okay, once you have this out, there's no need to take anything out of there unless there's something damaged or you want to inspect something, etc. What I do now is just make sure no one before has used like lithium grease in here or anything like that that's all gunked up and making the works all mucky. Uh, and this one hasn't been. This one looks like it's been properly cared for. So all I'm going to do is once again take my rim oil here, take my rim oil and give it a very light spritz. I mean, not hardly any at all. Then I'm going to take a lint-free cloth and just kind of dab it. And then I'm going to put the side plate back on. Then just going to put my screws back. Just put these hand tight. They don't got to be like, oh, we got to tape these on super hard so they don't come off. I've seen people put, you know, the temporary Loctite on. You can do that if you want to, but it's not really necessary in my opinion. Then once I have it all back together, I will cycle the action multiple, multiple times. Maisie, get out of here. Go. Now once I have it back together, I will just cycle the action once again several, several times and move that oil around in there. Give it a good shake, you know, take it off to the side, give it a good shake. And then just wipe the whole gun down. Just wipe everywhere, get off all the excess oil. Because you don't want oil getting into your holster and getting in the leather because then it'll trap dirt. So if you put an oily gun in your holster, you'll get dirt in your holster and it'll act like sandpaper and just tear your gun up. That's especially important if you have a blued finish or a black finish on your gun. So. Give it a shake out again the next day, wipe it down again, then it's ready to carry. So then all you got to do is put your grips back on. Don't over tighten wooden grips, you'll crack the grips. And you're done. So there you have it. There's how you maintain your revolvers. There's how you clean them. There's how you lube them. And if you have to take the side plate off and clean out the insides, that's how you do that. It's really not hard at all. In many ways, I think it's much easier than a semi-automatic. So there's no reason to be afraid of doing it, especially taking off that side plate. People are so afraid of that, but there's no reason to be afraid of it at all. So as long as you just take a few minutes after you fire your gun, and I do it every time I shoot my gun, to just give it a proper cleaning and a proper lube, it will last you your entire life. It'll probably last you your grandchildren's life. So just put a little effort into cleaning them. I've always said, if you don't enjoy cleaning your gun, you're not truly a gun nut. I love cleaning my guns. You get to fondle them and oil them up and get all weird with them. So. I think cleaning them is just as much fun as shooting them sometimes because you get to appreciate the mechanics of the firearm. So just take a little bit of uh, time and put a little bit of effort into it and a revolver is easy to care for and it'll last you a lifetime.